When most people think about co-marketing partnerships, they think about big companies like Apple and Nike getting together, but co-marketing partnerships aren't just for the big guys. In today's co-marketing coffee break, I'm going to show you how small businesses can benefit from co-marketing partnerships too. So what types of local businesses can work together to cross-promote and endorse each other using co-marketing partnerships? Well, quite simply, the answer is just about any two businesses who serve the same customers, clients, or patients. As long as their customers are the same, potentially, any two businesses can get together and share marketing expenses to attract new clients or to reactivate previous clients using co-marketing strategies and marketing campaigns. Take, for example, a photographer who does food presentation photography for restaurants or perhaps a photographer who specializes in industrial product photography. Wouldn't it make sense for these types of photographers to have a co-marketing partnership with a website developer who also specializes in building websites for restaurants or industrial product manufacturers? Or how about a real estate agent who endorses a house painter? Couldn't they share marketing expenses and reach more potential home buyers by co-marketing their businesses together? There's really no limit on the possible combinations of co-marketing partnerships you can form with other business owners. Just use your creativity and look for a combination of businesses that serve the same type of customers. For example, a barber or hairstylist could co-market with a life coach, or an estate planning attorney could co-market with a CPA or tax advisor. Or how about a business coach who co-markets uh, their services along with a business broker or an exit planning advisor? Or what about an industrial design firm that co-markets with an electronics engineering firm? And then, of course, insurance agents can co-market with an automotive body shop or a roofing contractor with a window replacement company. But I'm sure you're starting to get the idea by now, right? So that's it for today. Use these co-marketing partnership tips that I just went over to think up who your local partners could be and then reach out to someone to get started. You have nothing to lose and it could just be the thing that makes all the difference in your business in the future. And lastly, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future strategies, tactics, and tips about co-marketing programs that can benefit you as a small business owner trying to make it through the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's it for now. Stay safe, stay positive, and I'll talk to you soon.